Hello, and welcome to Technology Now, a weekly show from Hewlett Packard Enterprise where we take what's happening in the world and explore how it's changing the way organizations are using technology. We're your hosts, Aubrey Lovell and Michael Bird. And in this episode, we are celebrating May the 4th. Yes, it is Star Wars Day, and we've been given incredible behind the scenes access at none other than Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. Well, I say we've been given access, uh, Aubrey has, not that I'm jealous at all. Uh, But to be fair, Aubrey, it is basically in your back garden. So, Aubrey, am I right in saying that you were allowed into the park before opening hours for an extremely rare look at how technology is making Star Wars Galaxy's Edge one of the most immersive and impressive experiences of its kind? Yes, indeed. That's right, Michael. And it was incredible. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to hear all about it. So if you're the kind of person who needs to know why what's going on in the world matters to your organization, and you know, you're a big fan of Star Wars, then this podcast is for you. Oh, and if you haven't yet done so, do make sure you subscribe on your podcast app of choice so you don't miss out. Right then, let's do this. So Aubrey, let me live vicariously through you. What happened? I was given a a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to head to Walt Disney World's Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, where we took a closer look at how technology opens opportunities to create these magical experiences for guests that they won't forget. And honestly, I won't either. Fun fact, HPE and Disney have a very rich history, and some of you may know that HPE is an official technology provider of Walt Disney World Resort and Disneyland Resort. So overall, it was an incredible experience, and I may or may not have a lightsaber displayed in my office now. (laughs) Cool. What color is it? It's green, of course, HPE colors. (laughs) Oh, nice. So uh, for this tour, you had a guide, right? Yes, I did. I actually interviewed Jose Corpas, Principal Software Engineer with Global Engineering Technology and Analysis with Walt Disney Parks and Resorts. Now, he's been at Disney for over 20 years and is involved in designing and maintaining the attractions and the tech behind them, which for a tech podcast episode about Star Wars is pretty awesome. He gave me a tour and we started off under the Millennium Falcon, which as a Star Wars fan was iconic. So let's jump right in. So can you tell me a little bit more about where we are right now and give us a quick tour? Well, we're standing in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which is a themed immersive land located in both the Walt Disney World Resort and the Disneyland Resort. Right now, we're in front of the Millennium Falcon, which is probably very familiar to you if you've seen the Star Wars films. Oh, yes. In the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run attraction, it's where guests have a chance to pilot the Millennium Falcon. Here, we find out that Chewie has made a deal with Hondo Anaka to lend out the Falcon for a run, but Hondo needs a flight crew. This is where the guests are recruited. This leads to a mission where the guests fly the Falcon against the First Order. The guest takes the roles of pilot, gunner, and engineer aboard this famous ship. So just being here, I mean, we are truly immersed on so many unique levels of sight, sound, and inclusion that is really unique to every guest in a way, right? And that requires the right blueprint. So can you tell us a little bit about the technology that's gone into creating Star Wars Galaxy's Edge? The use of technology in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge can be seen everywhere in the land. As an official technology provider for Walt Disney World Resort, the area where HPE has contributed the most to Galaxy's Edge is in the HPE Aruba networking infrastructure. This allows the guest a reliable connection to various services that Disney provides in the My Disney Experience and Play Disney Parks app. We're able to leverage the technology to enhance the guest experience, providing a connection between them and our parks. Use of the My Disney Experience platform provides a one-stop shop that integrates lodging, dining, and attraction information at the guest's fingertips. The Play Disney Parks app integrates another digital experience in the land itself. The Star Wars data pad in the Play Disney Parks app is a digital experience that allows guests to interact with the attractions and environments of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. The app is an overlay which allows players to participate in games, puzzles, and quests within the land. Inside the Play Disney Parks app is a metagame where the players choose a side and battle for control of Black Spire Outpost. They can control various devices in the land to trigger special effects, as well as to find chances to listen in on another story by intercepting in-universe communications. These games allow for more engagement with the land on a more distributed scale. 
The data pad, it's its own attraction in the land. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. Definitely a twist and an elevation on the normal app you'd get for a theme park. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the app and the data pads are really incredible. It's an amazing use of technology and really gives you that feeling of being there and being part of a story and your own adventure of your choosing. It's all really seamless. And I was already kind of geeking out, but the whole app and data pad side of things really does take it up a notch versus a traditional theme park experience. Plus, you know, it adds so much more to the storyline and to the way you see and interact with the land, which is great. So let me get this straight. You have the entire park to yourself, bar Jose and a production crew, and you're standing underneath the Millennium Falcon, literally one of the most recognizable and famous ships in science fiction. How did that feel? You know, I grew up watching Star Wars with my dad. So huge Star Wars fan. So it was a very like surreal and special moment for me just to be standing there in awe and kind of taking it all in visually and also hearing the incredible layering of the sounds and the aesthetics that bring the land to life, including the rides, the experience on the rides. I mean, it makes you realize how much work went into creating this land and you truly feel like you're in the movies. I mean, to hear the Millennium Falcon engines roaring in the background, it just rattles your soul, right? Oh, oh man, I can imagine. I can imagine. Oh, that sounds so cool. And actually, that's the next thing I wanted to ask Jose about, right, was just how you make it so immersive for guests seeing it for the first time. And Jose graciously gave us a tour of the whole land. So let's jump back in at the Black Spire Outpost, which is an open market with dining areas, cantina, and of course, lots of connectivity. So you mentioned, you know, how the technology is creating better connection points between guests and part that is unique. But how does that actually layer down? Are you, for example, able to use networking solutions to help the queues in order? We can observe the time it's taking for a guest to get through a queue. We then can inform the guests via several channels, like at the entrance of the attraction and the My Disney Experience app, the official app of the Walt Disney World Resort. While I mentioned the Play Disney Parks app, there's another digital experience in the land using our Magic Fan Plus. It's called Star Wars Batu Bounty Hunters. It's a quest where the guests search the land, digitally looking for fugitives and capturing them for the Bounty Hunters Guild. These digital experiences allow the guests the freedom to interact with the environment at their own speed and level of immersion. The technology allows the guests and cast to deepen their connection. The sharing of information throughout the land also adds a storytelling glue and layers the story that each guest is creating. This allows other guests and cast members to join in. Finally, the act of connection implies that there's a lot more in this universe than what's on the surface. So you mentioned having a great platform for storytelling. And one of the biggest questions here, Jose, from a guest perspective, what does all this tech enable? Why does it matter to them? Well, it allows the guests to experience a living land, to know that there's a whole planet named Batu existing at just outside their immediate presence. It also enables us to put more experiences in a smaller area. The Star Wars datapad extends the interactivity throughout the entire land. Outside of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, the tech allows for guest interaction with all parts of their vacation. It provides convenience and flexibility for the guests to transition from home to hotel to theme park to restaurants at Disney's. This convenience makes it easier for the guests to transition from on-planet to off-planet. Okay, Jose, so we're at another iconic ride, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance is an exciting attraction that takes the guests on an adventure where they flee the rebel base on Batuu and get captured by the First Order. They then have to escape their captors and find their way to freedom. The guests are not just riders in this attraction, but they're active participants in the experience. It's one of the most ambitious attractions in a Disney park and is full of surprises. Indeed, and I have to say, personally, just going through these rides, like Rise of the Resistance and Smuggler's Run, it is such an interactive, seamless experience, uh, beginning to end, and really just makes the experience so much more immersive in so many ways. So, but this sounds pretty intense. I don't know if that's the right word. I'd love to know what Jose means by active participants. What can you tell me? Well, I can't say too much, oh, but what right. I can tell you is I know I've said it already. You really are totally there. 
mind, body, soul, right? This isn't just some, you know, roller coaster or boat ride. Take what you know about theme parks and resorts and rides and kind of just throw it out the window because this isn't it. I mean, that whole blend of connectivity and storytelling of technology helping build a narrative in the background starts from the minute you step into the land and into the line. I know we've mentioned immersive a few times, right? But it really is at the core of this whole thing. And the technology underpinning it all drives that real world experience. Well, Aubrey, uh, this sounds like maybe somewhere for the end of year wrap party. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Hint, hint. Uh, Let's see if producer Sam can pull some strings. (laughs) But I did want to know a bit more about the tech side of things because Star Wars is great, but so is some of the technology and the people who have helped design it, like Jose. So let's jump back in about the opportunities that this creates. This is one of the most connected lands ever built. What kind of tools and opportunities does that open up for you as an operator? The design, installation, and operation of the land takes hundreds, even thousands of cast members. It's a very big team, and the technology allows them to connect with each other and the guests on an individual basis. The biggest opportunity is getting to know the vast diversity of systems that comprise the whole land. It's a wonderful learning opportunity to get into something I never envisioned myself getting into. From industrial controls, audio-visual, lighting, and other networks to custom computers that we created. The scale of the effort is immense, and one of the biggest parts of my job is to be part of the institutional glue that helps the specialists receive key information from these systems. It's in this role that I got exposed to the teams that specialize in these systems, and it's all a big collaboration. On a higher level, it's a great platform for storytelling. It's freeform and less structured. These are the things that haven't been done before in a theme park experience. So we have moved over to our final destination, the X-Wing, and I have one last question for you. What makes Star Wars Galaxy's Edge different from a typical theme park experience? Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is an evolution in immersive storytelling. It isn't a static experience. Due to the interactivity of the land, the guests have more freedom to explore and interact with the environment and cast members in-universe than was previously possible. The idea is for the guests to be truly engaged and pay an active role in the story. The technology is not the focus in land, but rather a seamless storytelling conduit. It's not just two rides in a shopping area. It's a living, breathing place with history being written every day. This has been absolutely amazing, Jose. Thank you so much for giving us a tour. And Michael, back to you in the studio, and may the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you too, Aubrey. Uh, And it was great to hear from both you and Jose. Aubrey, it sounds like you had an absolute blast. I really did. And I want to just say thank you so much to Jose, the production team at Disney and Disney themselves for opening the park early for us and giving us exclusive access. We're really grateful. And you can find more on the topics discussed in today's episode, of course, in the show notes. Right then. Well, that brings us to the end of Technology Now for this week. Thank you so much to our guest, Jose Corpus, Principal Software Engineer with Global Engineering, Technology and Analysis with Walt Disney Parks and Resorts. And to our listeners, thank you all so much for joining us. Technology Now is hosted by Aubrey Lovell and myself, Michael Bird. And this episode was produced by Sam Datapolin and Al Booth with production support from Harry Morton, Zoe Anderson, Alicia Kempson, Alison Paisley, Alyssa Mitri, Camilla Patel and Chloe Sewell. Our social media designers are Alejandra Garcia, Carlos Alberto Suarez and Ambar Maldonado. Technology Now is a Lower Street production for Hewlett Packard Enterprise. And of course, we'll see you back in the studio same time next week. Cheers. Thank you.